fun stuff. Well, I doubt they'll be banning Vagar. Yeah. I will say that. They'll probably I, just I try and first yeah. pick it. So, I agree. LeBlanc not coming into this game. Frozen has had that champion banned against him many times to date. Cassidy taken out of the pool. Koro has played that in three of his last five games. Rumble will be banned once again. Yeah. This time by GE, actually. So switching yeah. sides for the ban. And I, incredible miracle. How do they want to answer this? I haven't been surprised by the Rumble ban because Lilac has straight up died in solo lanes to NAR versus Rumble previously. And GE has such a solid NAR player. There's the Vagar ban oh, okay. on the red side. Now, do you think you're going to have to ban the Hecarim if you're uh, I am? Yeah, I don't think that's such a big deal. I think it was just a really good ganking presence from Lee. And Lilac should be face palming just a little bit after that three minute 10 gank that he managed yeah. to die to. He needs to be very careful with about as standard a timing as you can get for a gank. And there is Zareth, no longer available for Incredible Miracles. So Lulu and Thresh not banned out by GE this game. And Thresh has been such a pivotal pick for IM. They want a chance that Lulu will be the last ban. And what will Smeb take Rek'Sai more than likely? All right, not a bad first pickup. I really think this is yeah. such a great champion for GE. They're a team that really does emphasize wave manipulation and side lane control, and it really has allowed them to do that. That's one of the, the hidden powers of Rek'Sai that a lot of people fail to notice is how much it helps you force fight at objectives or delay fights at objectives because you can just split push and instantly be there alongside your top laner with that teleport. So yeah. in terms of total map strategy, Rek'Sai uh, just an amazing champion right now at the professional uh, level for that reason alone, much less all of the other benefits that our kit brings to the table, including just great crowd control and team fights and the ability to move sneakily around the map and just detect people without wards. I mean, Rek'Sai kind of does it all right now, provides Vision in a sense, and incredible map control. Wow, Jarvan Corky picked up for IM. Does leave the Janna open for Gorilla. Big pick up there, and ah, oh, look at this. <laughs> Some more Solution. matter picks. Solution against Sonstar. I've got a feeling it's a bit of trolling going on through there. Well, we've seen it's more. Pick, we've but... seen more Lucian in the past few weeks. Yeah, I mean here in Korea, and but pray. Not really ever a big Lucian player. This is going to be well, his first time playing it this season. That's why I think it is a bit more of a trollish sort of pick there. And Cassiopeia is definitely available for Frozen if he wants to take it. Might decide to go with Syndra instead. I think if they want to create picks, Syndra and Thresh are going to be very safe for them to play the style that has won IM games previously and give them some domination in the mid lane. We're all talking about it, thinking it over right now. I think it's good. Yeah. I think it's good with what they're doing. They've got a solid mid-game siege as it is. Good pick potential. Very well-rounded composition, but instead, Whoa. the Hecarim take away. Wow, they're going to take away that Hecarim from Smeb. Can Lilac play Hecarim? That's the question now. Are we going to see a Karthus? Are we going to see a Quinn? Are we going to see a top Quinn? Please, no. Please, yes. <laughs> Please, yes, <laughs> what are you talking about? Maokai is a much smarter pick. And Prey. All right, there we go. So Kuro is going to go with that Victor again. Oh, and that leaves Lissandra yeah. open. So it's going to be Frozen on Lissandra versus Kuro on Victor unless he switches it over to that Cassiopeia. A battle of Frozen's legendary solo queue mid laners might be ensuing right now. I think so. Are they going to lock it in? Rosen really wants this I, one. He's I, had it banned so many times against him this season, and now he's got the last pick. Uh, Ari's still available, too. I think the Ari very safe against the victor. You can dodge a lot of those skill shots, and as well as having a good time landing charms, considering he does have to get so close in yeah. order to be effective. I agree. No movement abilities makes it pretty tough for Victor to avoid those charms. Cassandra, though. What's he gonna go with? Five seconds left. And they're gonna send Lissandra to the mid lane. All right, there it'll be. 
Not a very common pickup for Frozen. Usually that Lissandra going over to Lilac when I am tends to run him. Frozen likes some of those more ranged mages, generally speaking. Yeah. I'm a bit surprised by the lack of Syndra in this game. I think Syndra or Ari would both be quite fine against what GE is trying to throw at them, but the thing about running a Lissandra right here is that you get close enough when you try and spam your Q that Victor's going to be able to hit you with his Q and start to shield a lot of that damage. Yeah, so he's going to be able to trade very well, you would think. I would think. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have to see how this matchup plays out. I am not overly familiar with Victor matchups. You may be surprised to learn, Doa. Shockingly, we don't have a lot of Victor here in Korea. Yep. You know, the other thing, too, is that Victor does need to get fairly close, so it may be easy for Frozen just to walk up slightly and hit him with the W, too. That's so you might, you might be able to get some good trades going on. We'll I'm, see. I'm curious to see how this plays out. Yeah. I'm curious to see if Lilac can play Hecarim. That's uh, it's going to be a tall order, I think, <laughs> for the Professor there. Uh, Svab will be on a covered pick, though, yeah. up in the top side. And they've got a ton of team fighting presence, GE. No shortage of AOE and Peel to deal with in these team fights. That Janna coming in again to help out protecting that victor. Yep. And meanwhile, Incredible Miracle looking more for picks this game. That's right. Well, here we go. Can G get the 2-0? Let's get in the game and find out. Oh, there's a pause. All right, there we go. I was wondering. I was like, I thought I timed that intro pretty well, but there's a pause. We'll have to see what the issue is as we rock out before this GE Tigers versus IM game. Spam so doesn't All right. appear ready to rock out quite yet. I am. Are you? Are you ready to rock out, Monte no, Cristo? No, I'm not. <laughs> Why not? There's no Malphite. Oh, I'm sorry. okay. Wait. He's rock solid, but he doesn't necessarily rock out. Do the Krugs rock out, Noah? Uh, not really. I don't know. All right. Now it is time. Let's get the game. Right, yeah. Oh, oh wait, it's pause. Oh, all right. Well, glorious golden screen. I know. OG and Drama Hawk, where are you? <laughs> we need you to bring some hype to this paused game. Oh well. I don't know. When that hawk turns and like stares at you in the intro, I just it's just funny to me. It's just I don't know. <laughs> it's like you have all these other pro gamers like staring at this. Suddenly there's this hawk. Oh hi. Bird's He's gotta like, get in for dramatic process. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they didn't have enough. Uh, they didn't have enough other players, I guess. You know, we, we cut it down to eight teams a season. So I guess we have to start putting animals in. <laughs> Where we would have put like flame in there, or cacao. You know, now we just put a put a, a hawk. Yeah, put the put the hawk right in there. Yep, that's right. Rexile. Oh, that's that's cute oh, that because is cute. the way you romanize the last name of E in Korean is Lee in uh, English letters. So basically, that just spells Rexi in Korean. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but it's kind of a clever little thing there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Korean language jokes, <laughs> so good. A you really know how to com a way we can connect with all of our fans. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You really know how to how to connect with the fans, Noah. That's, that's right. Hey, I blame the Korean because all the man. Korean They're speakers. The signs. Yeah, all the Korean speakers certainly aren't watching the Korean stream right now. They love our brand of just off the wall humor <laughs> and in depth analysis in English as well as references to 90s television shows they've never even heard of. But that's, that's also <laughs> true. It's very educational. That's what it is. It's educational, man. Hey, I've, I've talked to Korean fans who say they watch our cast practicing. So. And now you've taught you them go. Jossum. That's right. You are a horrible human being. <laughs> they're going to go to, like, they're going to do, like, exchange studies in the U.S. And their, you know, new American friends will take them out to, like, a burger place and be like, this is Jossum. <laughs> what, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Their friends are like, I was born in 1998. I have no idea what Jossum is. It's like, oh, but I, uh, I'm sorry, I failed you, my Korean English language fans. Your Victor's got some moves. Man. Your old man vocabulary is tainting the young generation. Though. I guess so. Man. 
if they started like that 70s show now, it would be that 90s show. That's, that's how long ago that actually. It's coming, oh, Noah. It's I, think coming. It's, I think it's already here. Oh, oh, you did not, Lissandra. Victor doesn't care. He's all robot. He has no. Oh, you got served. <laughs> the matter laser, right. boo, Kuro. That was a gentleman's agreement. That's right. Kuro's like that guy in a duel who shoots on two. <laughs> okay. You're right, you're right. Sir, so it's not honorable, but it gets the job done. Yep. If uh, he was a Dungeons Dragons character, he would clearly be chaotic evil. Yep. You know, uh, I'm going to run a D&D campaign, and Chobras, Chobra might play a lawful good paladin. That'll be fun. <laughs> I don't know about that. That doesn't sound fun at all to me. Lawful. Well, it's not going to be fun for him, but uh, for me as a DM, it's going to be great. Lawful good characters always lead to good times. All right, early gank here. Ares. Yeah, coming in. Looking for the cheese. Here we go. Red to all the way through the enemy jungle. Uh, and Prey goes in the last one. Uses his dash. Can he get out? Flash used by Gorilla already. It looks like Prey will be just fine. Pops that heal. Doesn't even need the flash. Nice dodging. Yeah, Ares really committing early to that one. Now, they did get some good damage down, but we've seen Resolution that lane bully, so it's going to be helpful for Songstar even to get that damage yeah. without anything else much happening right there. And meanwhile, Lee will just calmly wind his way through the jungle, picking up some extra camps, so he'll get a bit more gold and have that earlier recall timing. Lee getting very low at those Raptors, will recall now. Lilac apparently does not have the arcade Hecarim skin. Uh-oh, that's embarrassing. He prefers the more intimidating Legend of Sleepy Hollow skin, I guess. Oh, that sentence. Ooh, that was close. Nice attempt by Tucson. Prey was a bit too quick there. So we'll see what Tucson can do in this game. Wow. Oh, don't uh, lock the camera on Lucian, please. <laughs> it's very disorienting. So we'll see what Tuzan can do with this Thresh. It has been his best champion so far this season by a lot. And he's made so many plays on the map and yeah. helped his lanes get ahead, especially Frozen in the, mid, in the mid lane. Well, I'm curious to see if he's going to be able to start roaming with areas like he used to with Wisdom and put the same kind of pressure on that we saw those two be able to do before. So I'm not having too hard of a time farming right here. And that's the thing, the Maokai, when you have a top laner that really just spams abilities, like Hecarim can spam his Q, it just all it does is get your passive up all the time so that you can continue to heal. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Maokai really benefiting from champions that see. are a bit spammy in terms of their abilities. Let's see, in this situation, goalkeeper Maokai is really the, the goal, and uh, it's his job. Well, it's, he's a goalkeeper, and his job is to catch Lilac as he comes in <laughs> to try to reach the back line, to try to get in the goal. But no, you've got Smeb there. The ultimate defender. In front of you. That's right. I wish uh, Prey was playing the soccer skin as well. Oh, yeah. What a disappointment. Missed opportunity there, man. Have a talk with, with Prey there. And yes, I will call it soccer because the real football is in America. Oh, wow. <laughs> I agree. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Good old American football. <laughs> Best sport that isn't an eSport on Earth. See, Doa, you know how to connect with our audience, and I know how to alienate them with our powers combined. We are Captain... <laughs> Wait, no, we're not Captain Planet. We are OGN champions, English <laughs> commentators. Pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, poor Riff Scuttler. You really inspired Jarvan. You inspired by that banner to beat this poor defenseless creature. Yeah, but that's real inspirational. <laughs> He's really going to make a great leader. I know. What a role model. Up, killing defenseless animals. What a great guy, that Jarvan the Fourth. <laughs> really setting a good example for everyone. Well, Tucson and Sansar have managed to push the lane up a little bit, but CS staying even between these two bot lanes. A bit of a CS lead for Frozen. Not quite able to poke as effectively as we. Expected, I suppose. Good vision on the wreck side. They know he just went into the jungle, so this will cause Lilac to pull back a little bit on that top side. Ping's going down already, so yeah. Deep Ward will be successful. Ooh. Gank will he's likely not be. Lilac should know he's there. He definitely should know he's there. He's got his ult. There's not really a gank opportunity here. Lee will just go ahead and recall. Yep. 
So, all right. Victor got his first upgrade. I wonder which one he upgraded. Let's just assume guess it's E again. Probably E again. Although this time you may want to actually upgrade Q against Lissandra. Yeah. We'll see if you can switch it up. The interesting states of Victor. Yeah. Something I didn't think we'd be talking about today. I'm happy we are, though. He's always been one of my favorite champions. He's, he's been very cool. I haven't played him a lot, but I had a friend that used to almost exclusively play him, so I played a lot of games with old Victor, not new Victor. How'd that go for you? Really good. Yeah, great. Yeah. He was good. All right, Ares. Uh oh, this is awkward. Lee Both gonna jugglers. try and get a counter gank. They don't know that Lee is there, so Lee is gonna wait. Hmm. And just a ward clear right yep. there from Ares before Gorilla chases him out of lane. So not trying to bait that one in at all. Bit interesting. There might have been an opportunity there, I feel. It's possible. Uh, Lee just going after the bigger Raptors. Oh man, got itself back. Oh well. Tucson, I don't know, man. Some of these death sentences. He's trying to go for very tricky death sentences here, and he's not quite hitting them. And yeah, he is going for more challenging ones, but it's uh, not working out. I think he goes for some more standard stuff and still have an okay chance. Well, Prey and Gorilla are playing around cooldowns very well. We've seen Prey. Be very measured with his dashing forward based on what we see incredible miracle throwing out in terms of their abilities. He's also keeping the minions between okay. him and Jason too, which is important. Alright, well, Lee knows that Ares is here. He has that ward in the pit. He is going to be able to see him. There is a ward in the brush at the same time, but Smev has just chucked out Lilac at the top side. We'll see if Ares has to give this one up. He's pulling the red buff all the way around. I think he probably Frozen will. Frozen is too low in HP. Victor spoke to him. Yeah. What a great time to go after this red buff. Lee, knowing exactly how his lanes Ooh. are faring. Kuro running all the way back, but the minion wave keeps him safe. Lee completes the red buff steal yeah. in the end, so playing around that pressure again. Nearly perfectly, no one on Incredible Miracle able to respond in terms of the solo lanes and Sveb yep. right there to help out. Makuro did go for death uh, for death ray again. Yeah. As we've noticed. It is a safer way to play, that's for sure. It yeah. just gives you a much more long range way to farm efficiently. Yep. Which is what you kinda need with Victor, you know, you want to be able to stay safe. There we go, blue buff for Kuro, and will we see a dragon coming up here fairly soon for one of these teams? I am trying to take a bit of vision control, and they're just gonna go for it. Yep, good opportunity, and I think I'm just gonna get away with this one. We'll see if Gorilla can steal it with Whirlwind. It's been done. Well, Void Rush is up, but it doesn't look up. Oh, teleport, Void Rush. That's right, Smeb coming in, teleports coming in from both sides. Smeb is there on the dragon. Gorilla a bit caught, but Lee is there to help him out. Lilac just running over to his team, and they may have to give up this dragon here. No, going in, and Lee gets taken down. First blood goes to Jarvan, and I am just melting now. Kuro chasing Lilac away. A kill comes in for Smeb as well. Two for one so far, but it looks like GE. Oh, man, it's close, but they'll get it, and the shield should save Kuro. Sansar a bit low and frozen, getting chased back to the turret. Oh, oh Smeb nearly killed by the Corky Rockets. Wow, I don't they're going to go for the quite. blue buff at the same time. So. Risky. Uh, take this blue. There's no teleport though, um, so they're going to take the blue and maybe try and force another fight right now. Yeah, they Lee could even. already racing out of his base, but man, I am oh, just close. piled into that chaos storm from Kuro. He yeah. caught so many people in his ultimate. Let's yeah, take let's a look watch. at this again. Now Lee's already there to zone out Lilac on the side. Smeb comes in through the pit. So first up, there's a knock up right there. There's the box going down, but Kuro flashes forward, gets wow. us, oh my, that They're is a ridiculous in. AOE Man. from Kuro, melting several members. Lilac tries to continue to finish up this kill. He's got no mana, however, so he just can't get any Sheen procs up to finish off Kuro, yeah. and that'll be the end. Tries with the Ignite, but the shield there from the Q and from Janna's Eye of the Storm. More than enough. So, GE takes a nice little early lead there. Nobody gets a dragon just yet. And a kill and two assists onto Kuro. Not exactly what you want to see if you're IM right now. 
Yeah, if you're IM2, basically what happened right there is you, you have to be a little bit more bold. Lilac's positioning when he came in, when he saw Lee, he retreated to the rest of his team. Oh, an attempt on the Kuro. They get the death sentence. I don't think he's getting right. out of this one. <laughs> a four-man gank. And they do manage to take down Kuro. We'll see if this leads to a dragon praying gorilla pushing up that bot lane right now. Looks like they'll be able to get the turret. That's a good read from IM. Now, yep. Kuro flashed in for that WR in the last fight, so knowing that was down. Yeah. Uh, I talked about it in game one a little bit about how Victor plays a lot like some of these more stationary mids like Zareth, and when his summoners are down, he has oh, a Oh, here gun. we go. They're coming in now to his advance onto Frozen. Gets knocked back by that Arcane Smash and a kill again for Smeb. Frozen getting taken out there, so they will trade mid for mid, and now GE Tiger's going for what should be a very safe first dragon. Now, can the top tower go down in favor of Lilac? Lilac doesn't have a sheen yet, so he's just not going to be able to hurt that tower particularly quickly, and Kuro also walking up to the top side in order to preserve the objective, and he's going to be yeah. able to do it. I don't He's got it. Yeah, Lila well, can't get that one. Especially he comes in as the mini wave is coming in. He has yep. that death laser, so be too big of a problem, and it'll just. Oh, he's going after Lilac here too. Well, Lilac a little bit careful no here. Yeah, Lilac. Well, I suppose you're right. Didn't see the mana. It's a lot of damage on the Lilac from Curl already, and he'll be able to keep this top lane pushed up as much as he wants. Yeah, reversing that a little bit. Lilac will see if he goes home right now. No teleport to get back into lane quickly, so he may just hang around and see what he can do under the turret. Void Rush now coming into blue buff. Yeah, looks like they're going to maybe give that one over to Kuro in the near future here. We'll see. No. He just kind of hanging out, killing the ground. Meanwhile, Kuro does a lot of damage to that turret. A lot of damage to Lilac, too. Wow. Lilac, though, going for that Trinity Force first. He doesn't have any sort of magic resistance item-wise to speak of, so... You're taking a lot of damage from that Victor. One of the things that I love about Victor is his W and the fact that you can block off an entire ramp with it. It's one of the very few skills in the game, like Vagar's Event Horizon, in fact. Hey, what do you know? That you can do that with. You can totally deny somebody's ability to engage on an objective, which yeah. is why uh, having control over the river is so important when you have champions like Vagar and Victor, because you any choke point that they have to walk to to contest Dragon or Baron is pretty much a no-go zone. Between the, the, his W and his E, the, de the Death Laser, it's really, really difficult. And Kuro playing that perfectly in that last team fight. IM kind of funneled back into the, ra the ramp by their blue buff, and he really made it pay for it. Great flash forward, even if it did cost him his life later. Oh, definitely worth it. Looks like he's going for that Abyssal Scepter first off after that first upgrade. Smep gets Righteous Glory first, so hard engage. Going to be the name of the game here for GE. Well, it's just more of helping Lee get in there for the knockup, more of helping Kuro get in there for his abilities. I think it's a great first buy, and it's a good amount of help as well for Smep. Yeah, they're definitely looking to all in and get that AOE damage down at the exact right time they need to when I am is clustered and out of position. Yep. They'll be able to abuse that oh, even am. harder now. I wants to make a play, but a play shall not be made. Nothing well, really to make a play around right now. Yeah, they were all kind of stacking up. They still want to maybe catch Kuro out of position. Kuro's flashing cleanser are up now, though, so yeah. without... They're trying to get presence on the bottom side, but there's no dragon to be taken right now. There's nothing really to be done. They can't gank Kuro. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Gorilla went way deep in the bottom jungle. I'm looking at the mini-map right now. He could be in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, well, Prey is right there as well. They might be able to get a kill on the Deuce, and Prey has a flash away. There's a heal from Gorilla coming in. Smeb teleported down for this one. Lilac getting pushed back now. He's going to go in on the Kuro, gets the fear. Kuro in a lot of trouble. He's going to actually make it out. Whoa, he even survives the Corky Rocket. Had that flash available, he was able to cleanse out of the fear, I believe, and then flash over the Cataclysm Wall to escape. Close call, though, for both Gorilla and Kuro. It all started with Kuro, or a Gorilla, rather, going to check this blue buff, and it'll end with the GE Tigers getting a blue buff. That's right, Prey again, so even more ability to spam and make use of his passive. Yeah. It's been not so great so far. Kuro actually going for the earlier the uh, earlier uh, Abyssal Scepter this game, instead yeah. of the Death Cap, he wants that extra magic Why? resistance to uh, Tucson Vistas. So that was a big part of it. 
That was a big part of it. So Gorilla knocking him back too, buying them some time. Guro taking out Fresh all too easily. He gets feared right there. There's the knockup. Does flash out of it at the end. Corky Rocket hits him, but it's not quite enough damage to finish Pretty him close. off. But with that magic resist, he's gonna be just fine against some of those rockets. I think that magic resist helped him out quite a bit in that last fight. <laughs> I think it came in handy at just the right time. Now Speb, after Frozen Heart. Kuro just continuing to farm here. Yep. Has that second upgrade now it is on his Q. You can see him getting faster. Let's cast that ability Prey. Back in, back in the bot lane with the blue buff stolen away from Incredible Miracle. 5,000 gold lead here at 17 minutes for GE. Wow. And a dragon advantage as well. And this victor appears to be the real deal here for the GE Tigers. Which uh, really, I mean, if you're a team that faces them in the near future in Champions or at IEM, there's a lot to worry about at this point. Right, and Victor's the scary champion. Yeah, if you can get his positioning properly, uh, he's got the poke in order to really help out in some of the uh, with some of these poke comps the teams really like to run right now. And his all-in damage is so high. His ultimate is, does crazy amounts of damage. Well, Smeb getting chased by Lilac here. Just going to go ahead and toggle that ultimate up. And Smeb really not taking much damage after that ultimate's activated. He's going to be get, able to get away. Oh, he's recalling an award, though. Let's see if Lilac actually wants to play this. I think he should just let him recall yeah. and try and push the turret with the Sheen, which I is what he's going to do. do yeah. He doesn't have too much more to do on that turret before he takes no, it out, exactly. I believe. Yeah. Might as well see if you can. Well, dragging up right now, too. So I think uh, Smep's going to want to get over there. Yeah, Lilac recalling at the moment. No TP's up, however. Yep. So Lilac may be a bit late to the party, actually. Yeah, recalls right now, and we'll see if GE Tigers can get this one. Picks up his Trinity Force. Ooh, Distortion Enchantment. That is a very unusual item for a Maokai. Huh. I think he just wants as much engage as possible, having that flash up. I suppose. A lot of the time, and then also having the TP Edge. Because, that, again, that gives them more mobility. They have TP up more often. They have the Rek'Sai ultimate. That means they're going to be able to play the pressure game on the map even That's better. It's better on a team scale, even if it's not as ideal on an individual scale. Sandra on the side. Maokai just went in. Yeah, he did. Uh, went out right away again, though. Just trying to put a bit of pressure on that side of the map. And GE Tigers may find an opportunity here. Tucson drops the box a little bit early. Prey trying to back away. Smeb coming down on top of him, though. There we go. Now they turn around. Nice calling for Prey. Sounds are eating a lot of that. Great Cataclysm. A double kill here for Prey. And GE just destroying this team fight. Lee was able to keep Frozen out of that fight long enough. He also got Frozen's ult out of him. That was yeah. another great zoning play from Lee right there. Made it so that his carries were absolutely safe in that engagement. Koro and Prey were able to open up. Koro dropped the ult and Prey yep. picking up the double kill. Very nicely played. Smeb did pop the Righteous Glory a bit too early, but be able just to heal up, get right back into the fight. And there with the smite just to make sure they secure that. And that is uh, two dragons, I believe. Two to zero right now. Yep. Now for GE, a polite golf clap from the audience. I think, uh, I think everybody's kind of seeing where this one's going to go. It's 20 minutes in, and we've already got now a 6,000 gold lead for the GE Tigers. Yeah, they started to deny objectives as well. Sonstar finally going to be able to take down that top tier one turret. Yep. Smab's getting huge, though. 3 1 and 4 already. Yeah. Yeah, and this Hecarim not working out quite as nicely for Lilac. Only has that Trinity Force and the Ninja Tabby, which is kind of. Interesting when you think about it. Do you feel like Merc Treads would have been a better way to go? I mean, yeah, there's going to be a lot of autoing coming in from Lucian, but I suppose there's not a whole lot of CC to hold you up. Well, there's the bad that Maokai and the, the Victor stun as well. Yeah, I guess there is. But you're probably not going to get hit by the Victor stun at the very least because you're more than likely going to be able to hold over it because you you're going be for the backlight. Anyway, yeah. So I don't know. Ninja Tabby may make sense, especially if he, if his goal here is just to assassinate Prey and get on Prey and stop him from dealing damage, because he be. he will be able to one v one Prey. Um, Are they going to get this move up again? Ah, uh, they don't. It does go to Ares. Smab coming in on the Frozen though. Frozen takes a lantern out. They'll be able to make it for now. GE still chasing though. 
Yeah, they're just going to turn around and push up the mid lane just a bit. And are we going to see an early Baron at some point from the GE Tigers? They don't need it, but I feel like I am's giving him a few opportunities here and there, you know? Yeah, they have to make sure that there's vision swept out at the moment, yeah. however, and it still is pretty darn early in the game, even with the Baron nerfs that have come in recently. Well, we've seen a couple Barons around 21 minutes, but it, it's still pretty uncommon. Yeah, they have an edge. Do they have enough of an edge? No, but they should probably be baiting it right now. Oh. Smev gets caught out a little bit. Yeah, he does. There's a bunch of people there. I don't know if he's going to make it. He's going to flash into the Baron pit. Lee is right there. Smev just advance onto the Baron to help escape, and there we go. Kuro Chaos Storm. Zoning. Yep. That's right, Chaos Storm chasing people, doing a lot of damage. Oh, Hecarim comes in, though. Doesn't really connect with anybody. But yeah. he saves his team. Meanwhile, Prey is going to be split pushing in bottom lane, so. All right. That may result in a lost turret right there. He does have plenty of vision to start autoing this tower at the moment. Look how many wards he has, even deep around the backside, so he can watch people heading behind the tier twos. Yep. Feel quite safe. Lilac really not able to put up with. Well, he's got no defensive items right now. He's only got a Trinity for us. So and yeah, the Tabby, able to yeah. Take him yeah. Well, so he gets ults right on the prey, but he doesn't have that luxury right now. So in the yeah. end, GE will pick up a, a uh, tier two turret for their trouble, and they keep on pushing in. Yep. This entire series has just been I am trying to farm at their turrets and getting them slowly chipped away. Yeah, GE Tigers have really been a steamroller this series. Just putting on the pressure, never letting off, slowly moving forward throughout the game. And they should just call themselves the GE Pythons from now on it's because true. they strangle the life out of their team. You could just see the, the ring getting tighter and tighter and tighter. It's true, constricting <laughs> the life out of their opponents. The GE Pythons, I like it. The GE Anacondas. <laughs> I like pythons better, it's catchier. All right, you can't, pythons. You can't chant anaconda. Anaconda, anaconda, sure you can. Uh, I like pythons better. Pythons, pythons, it's a little, it's, I don't know, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> These all sound like rejected Harry Potter house names. <laughs> I guess it could work for GE as well. <laughs> Upgrades finished now for Kuro. Yeah. Ultimate upgrade available. You ever notice all the Harry Potter house names have three syllables? I hadn't noticed that. What do you think the hidden meaning behind I, that I is? I don't know. What could be the brilliant plan behind the authors? Uh, now everybody out there is counting the syllables like Gryffindor, <laughs> Hufflepuff. Yep. No, they all have three syllables, trust me. Oh, oh nice Sony again. You know, that W from Victor really does prevent the engage and uh, Yomu's popped by Prey just to get a few more shots off with that ultimate. Does so much damage with really the armor does. penetration and the extra attack speed. Yep. Calling. And there's there's just nothing here. GE is just split pushing them to death at the moment. I am is scrambling from lane to lane to prevent it, any kind of damage, but it's just so difficult. They don't even have control over the jungle, so they keep having to take the long way around or risk getting caught out. Yeah. Well, it is difficult to watch the slow, inevitable demise of the team, but when you're playing against the GE Tigers, you have to accept that this is probably going to be what happens. <laughs> the end of you, as it yep. were. I just appreciate yeah. how methodical GE is in the mid game. Even the way Lucian runs looks very serene and methodical. He's just running towards things he wants to kill. That's right. Kind of a leisurely jog, really. It is a leisurely jog, yeah. even with those tier two boots. Lucian looks very carefree as a champion. He, he lopes like an antelope. That's right. Very gracefully, he's like, eh, I'm just gonna jog over here and put some light bullets into people. Fun time. Good times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun for the whole family. Dragon is up. Now they're going to try and force a fight around here. G. Yeah, some can. decent wards. Not necessarily total lights out in terms of vision. They're trying to clear out some of these pinks in the river so far. Tucson. Here comes Aya. Oh, dodges the laser, very least. And now. Here we go. Teleport coming in for Lilac. 
Can he make a play here? He's running, he wants to get in the back lines. Nope, not gonna be able to do it with that home guard enchant. Dragon getting a bit low. This would be Dragon number three for the G Tigers. Smab going back, they find Tucson. There's the ultimate coming through, gets onto Kuro, but Lilac just blown up so fast. Meanwhile, Smab does go down. Gorilla couldn't heal him in time. GE Tigers can still turn this one around. Kuro chasing Frozen, doing a decent amount of damage there. Sonstar in the mid lane. He's going to be able to push Lee out with those rockets, but I feel like the GE Tigers can maybe still turn around and take this dragon. Yeah, that's probably what we'll they're going to do. Kuro really wants that blue buff, however, trying Can't to deny him. what he can. There's actually a lot of people piling onto Prey. Prey will dash over the wall. Yeah. In order to get away, still has his healing flash, so not a whole lot of risk right there. Is easy dragon and easy blue buff as well for GE. Uh, Lilac did get into the back line onto Kuro, but the collapse happened pretty quickly. Smeb soaking up enough damage, and overall, with GE taking so little damage except on the Smeb. You know, you gotta wonder was Kuro really the one that Lilac should be jumping onto? If you look at his items, he has no MR right now. He's got armor, you know, for the small defensive stats that he has. So if you're going to go on to somebody in a team fight, you should probably go on the person that's throwing out physical damage. Yeah, probably. I would agree with that, Doa. And uh, Smeb, happy to give his life up one more time. Certainly the tankier of our two top lane champions, and all yeah. that damage absorption really did help win the fight right there. He has sacrificed himself nobly the past two engages, but both in both situations, GE has managed to come out in top net, and there is Lilac taking a ridiculous amount of damage from Kuro, thanks to no MR items, like you were saying. Yep, that will happen. And the thing is, is, is when you're this far behind, how is Lilac supposed to ever itemize in a way to be able to be effective in the back lines? You know, if he jumps on Prey, he's going to get blown up by Kuro. If he jumps on Kuro, he's going to get blown up by Prey, probably, too, because he doesn't have that much armor yet. He's trying to get a Null Magic Mantle right now for a Cowl eventually, but he's yeah. a ways off. And oh. Finds Tucson in the brush right there, carving out a quarter of his HP in the process. And wow. there's another, another poke by calling. Prey. Very the nicely Yomu's done. Calling. And this is how the GE is being so successful at keeping on the pressure as they keep on chunking out champions without that wave clear there continually have to return to base, and now they're going to lose a tier two in the top oh, side. Kuro gets jumped on, doesn't get knocked up though. He has to burn that flash to get out of the Cataclysm, but he will live. Meanwhile, the turret goes down, teleport canceled for GE, deciding they don't need that one as Smev will just go ahead and walk down, have that teleport up sooner. But there's just no follow-up from Incredible Miracle. Sure, they yeah. tried to engage right there. Fortunately for them, they got the flash out of the way in terms of Kuro, but the choke, the Chaos Storm and the choke was just too much to follow through, so they couldn't lay down the remaining damage necessary to take him out. And Kuro lives another day, and GE walks away with another turret. Five turrets to one. It's not looking very good for IM. They're pushing up his mid lane. And will we see some sort of GE Tigers engage here? Looks like the call coming in. Lilac just gets completely blown up. A kill for Prey there easily. Ares can't do anything else. That's a double kill now for Prey. It is so over. Tucson taking a lot of damage as well. Smeb trying to get in range for that Tucson advance. Doesn't even need it. Triple kill now for Prey. They're just going to go for Baron. And the fact that GE can do that when they don't even have Victor's ultimate up is really just a sign of how far ahead they are in this game. Yeah. Prey walking through the opposition. Yep, there is really no stopping GE right now. Easy Baron. They know what's up. Oh. Sansar tries to steal with the rocket, but can't quite do it. Prey responds with the culling again. He's just Jeez. chasing people away every single time with his ultimate. Yeah. Doing work before these engages even really began. Lee responsible for cleaning up the pressure. Let's take a look at this one again. So we do see Curl walk in, has the speed up from his Q. Smab goes immediately onto Lilac. Lilac is forced to ult out of the Victor W. Prey in the meantime, happy to keep cleaning up from the side. Well, Victor is such a good counter to, uh, you know, to Hecarim, I suppose, in that well, way, that either you have to ult over it or you're going to be just stuck in it, you know? And, and also right there, we saw the Righteous Glory doing a lot of work, yeah. helping Break catch up and clean up the rest of those kills. Yeah. And again, I mean, Lilac, he's just not ever going to be tanky enough in this game to do what Smeb did on Hecarim last game and get into the back lines, live for a long time, do a lot of damage. It's not going to happen for Lilac. Uh, and Prey not even 
bothering to build a QSS yet this game. Instead, just going for the straight movement speed with the Alacrity enchantment. Can't really argue with that. Well, he's got Gorilla also just to peel for him with the Monsoon, so yeah. makes sense to me. Oh, trying to make a play here. Let's see if they can. Oh, there's Yomu's again. Sansar getting really oh, poked out. Wow, my. the burst. The burst from Lucian and Victor is just insane right now. I was curious what was happening, but yeah. Smeb was already there with the flank as Bray went in. Kuro starting to chunk out. I think this, miracle game, and this game may end right here. We'll see how uh, aggressively they want to push it, but I don't think there's really a big reason to not fight here. They're so vastly overpowered. Compared to I am. Yeah, they didn't even have to burn any serious cooldown spray. Yeah, calling used on frozen there doesn't really do too much damage, but they no. can just go down here and kill these inhibitors. Goodbye turret, goodbye inhibitor. Yep. So two inhibitors down, it looks like they're gonna go back, not wanting to uh, push it all that aggressively. Well, Drag like it up in 30 too. Thinking about going in, but then thinks it might be a better idea to step on this tunnel as opposed to engaging against the massively fed GE Tigers team. Yeah, there, there is no engaging anymore. You have to get a pick from Thresh or something like that. Or Frozen maybe, I mean. You'd be uh, very lucky to ca catch yeah. them out of position right now. Yeah, not a lot you can do. Eight turrets to one. A Prey is like two core items up as well. Yeah. yeah. Onto Sonstar. Sonstar hasn't died, but he's about 40 far behind, and he has. He hasn't died, he hasn't gotten any kill, though. Yeah, whoa, action in the mid lane here. Smeb going 3v or 1v4, Rayleigh. He's still alive. Lee comes in. They're going to take down Lilac. Smeb going to the back lines, finally gets taken out. Lilac very low. That'll be a kill for Gorilla, and they're going to chase. I am okay. away now. Prey coming in. Can they intercept? Bray on the run Can't right now. There. There's the Ghost Blade. Oh, Sonstar. nice catch. Wow. Very. Sonstar not able to get over the wall with that flash. And I think this may be about it. Now for the for incredible miracle. Two waves of super minions pushing in at the same time. And Smeb, no teleport. It's going to take him a while to get back to lane. Looks like they're going to just play it out safely here. Well, two said nothing safe about that. And there goes Nexus turret number one. Yeah, Chaos Storm for the very safe zone right there, so yep. they can prevent I am from clearing out these minion waves. There's Nexus turret number two, and Prey should be able to clear this one out extremely quickly. Yeah, they're going to go on the Nexus now. That Nexus dying very, very fast. Nothing I can do, and it will be a 2-0 for the GE Tiger. Is a pretty crushing victory in game two. That is it. Wins maketh the GE Tigers. <laughs> That's right, Ed. A very convincing victory, much cleaner closing yeah. uh, in that second game compared to a little bit sloppier playing game one, but much GE. bigger lead throughout, too. What are you going to do against these guys? I don't know. Yeah. They keep debuting all of these new picks, new strategies, new compositions. How do you prepare against a team like the GE Tigers? They, you, well, you just genuinely don't know what they're going to do. Uh, that's been the question that's always been leveled at the top team in Korea at any given moment, is how do you prepare against these guys? Yeah. It's been so difficult. And we go into these world championships and you take a look at teams like SK Telecom or Samsung White, you're like, these guys' champion pools are huge. They can play however they want to play. Uh, how do you beat them? And the answer is you don't. Yeah. The answer <laughs> is you just lose.